Freddy Varola is retraining his hands to open, a side effect of months spent in the hospital fighting to survive the coronavirus. It's like starting almost all over. In March, a day after his 40th birthday, Freddie felt sick. A week later, his wife Jasmine brought him to the hospital and heard bad news from the doctor. He said, listen, we have to admit him he has a bilateral pneumonia. And that's when everything went crazy from there. Freddie spent 74 days at Bellevue Hospital, 57 on a ventilator, and 35 on a special breathing machine to help his lungs work. His wife of 11 years, Jasmine, feared the worst. So actually, I thought I was going to lose him. I thought I was very close to losing him. But she didn't. Freddie survived. And on June 9th, he was discharged. <laughs> Freddie won the fight for his life. But the fight to get back to normal was just beginning. Walking, showering, like she said, opening stuff. Recovery, the hidden battle long-term hospital patients experience after they're discharged, including coronavirus patients. When people survive these long hospital stays, is that there's a huge, huge effort in rehabilitation that follows. Dr. Robert Tibali, an infectious disease expert with Catholic Medical Association and Currents News contributor, explains what patients have to do. People have to learn how to walk again. They have to learn and sometimes how to talk again. Now Freddie is back at his Brooklyn home with a long road ahead. We don't know what the, the future holds for him because we don't know they, they don't know anything about this virus and how it's going to affect his lungs. Recovery could take weeks, months, even years. No matter how long it takes, the Christian family is leaning on God. I prayed and I'm here. That's all I did all the time. Pray, 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 pray. I prayed. Family and friends have set up a GoFundMe page to help with the bills. Now, after what he's gone through so far, Freddie is pleading with everyone to wear a mask and follow the rules of social distancing. People don't take it serious, and it's serious. I almost died off of this, and I thank God and my angel, of course, that I'm home, you know. In Bedford-Stuyvesant, Brooklyn, Emily Druby, Currents News. If you're watching Currents News on YouTube, be sure to hit the subscribe button and then click on the bell to get instant updates about all of our newest content because we are putting your faith in the news.